Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Mosaic Premier League Soccer. Three box random team break number one from a, from a fresh case that Jason popped open. I just grabbed three random boxes right here. Um, 20 spot break. There are the Premier League teams that are there. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Again, there are the clubs. Let's roll it and randomize it. One and a five, six times for names and clubs. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. We got Steven down to Matthew after six. One and a five, six times for the clubs. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. There's Manchester City up top. Man, what a, what a final day in the Premier League. Uh, there was a few minutes where I thought, could Liverpool... That's my club, Liverpool. I was like, could they? But they didn't. Great great season for Man City. Um, all right, Stephen K. You have Manchester City, the, uh, the champions of the English Premier League. Marlon with Aston Villa. I think they could have helped. Stephen Gerrard, the Stephen Gerrard-led team could have helped. But didn't work out. Matthew Wood with Tottenham. I think they got a top four spot. Eddie with Crystal Palace. There's even Flat with my club, Liverpool. Brandon with Arsenal. Chris with Leeds. Uh, Ryan with Watford. Matt with Norwich. Stephen with Brighton, Hove Albion. Stephen Flat also has Leicester City. Buntai with Newcastle United. Jehun with Brentford. Tim with Chelsea. Jarrett with West Ham. Matthew with Wolves. Um, Brian with Burnley, Mike with Southampton, Marlon with Manchester United, and Matthew with my rivals Everton. I think they just narrowly, just game before last, narrowly avoided relegation. All right, let's alphabetize by club, by club name. And we're going to pause the video just for a moment. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the uh, three-box break. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. There's the Premier League soccer. Random team two. No deals were done, so that list remains the same. Another three boxes in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We're booked for tonight, but I'm sure that will go off tomorrow. And we'll run the we'll run the promo right after this video too. If you're looking if you're looking for that. Uh, exciting, uh, it turned out to be a pretty exciting finish to the English Premier League season with my club Liverpool, maybe looking like they were out of it in January, but really stormed their way back to finish just a point behind Man City. So just preventing Liverpool from a potential quadruple this year. They've won both domestic cups in, uh, in England. The uh, League Cup and the FA Cup, the magic of the FA Cup, still alive, as they say. The magic of the, it is, it is kind of magical. Has it lost its luster a little bit? Maybe. And they still have a chance at the, uh, the Champions League, which is on Saturday. I think maybe noon my time? Maybe one o'clock my time? Something like that. Who does everyone have in that match? Liverpool... Uh, is facing uh, Real Madrid. I think the final is in Paris. All right, do all card chip in? I, I'm assuming all card chip in this. Yeah, all cards will ship, but not every team has autographs. Just FYI, I think that that, that is in the item description. All right. Nice, there's Christian Pulisic. We're going to have a World Cup at the end of the year, too. A little, uh, little fall-winter World Cup. Should be awesome. There's, there's Allison. There's Jack Harrison. Harry Kane. I think Tottenham finished top four, right? They sure did. I think they finished just ahead of Arsenal. Arsenal definitely had some Champions League aspirations, but we'll have to settle for the Europa League. Tottenham it, now they just gotta they just gotta spend a little money, right? They owe it to guys like Harry Kane and the South Korean Hyunmin Son. They gotta freshen up that squad a little bit. 
owner's got to put a little money into the squad. Right, yeah. Matt Wood saying now, now, uh, now Harry Kane wants to stay after, after he was maybe looking like he was going to be elsewhere. Maybe Man City was the uh, was the the talk. There's Mohamed Salah, my guy, right there. Now Harry Kane wants to stay with Antonio Conte, who has been a really great uh, addition to definitely change things around there. There's Hyun Min Son. There's rookie Harvey Elliott. Who I think really broke his ankle or something like that early on in the season and was able to make a quick recovery. He's young, so guys, I feel like guys like that bounce back pretty quickly. There's Ederson. For your title winning Man City right here. Stained glass. Nice. That'll be for Stephen Kendrick. The Harvey Elliott rookie card will go to Stephen Flat. Who is my club Liverpool? No one has thoughts on that Champions League final? There's Trent Alexander Arnold. A little bit of a revenge game for Liverpool after they lost to Real Madrid uh, a couple years ago. And we got a blue Ederson. That is to 99, 63 out of 99. I think the red parallels are not numbered. Have I just been missing them? No, the red parallels are not numbered. Everything ships, but not numbered. There's Mason Mount, Pitchmasters, and uh, that's Ezri Konza for Aston Villa. Steven Gerrard led Aston Villa. And the redemption is Richarlison, who I think is, why am I blanking on... Everton? Yes, Everton. So that auto is going to go to Matthew Wood. He's pretty good with Charleston. My rivals as a Liverpool supporter. All right, box two. Uh, Mr. Mr. Milo, are you Marlin? If you're Marlin, yes, you have Aston Villa and Man United. Man United will have some work to do in the, uh, in the summer transfer window. You know, like, you know, there, there's a tournament. I think most of you know Champions League soccer. Most soccer fans know the Champions League. Um, you definitely know, and most of you know that there's a Europa League as well. But did you know that there's a, there's a third European tournament? The Europa Conference League. So now the top seven positions in uh, the top seven positions in um, the English Premier League. I think it's different for each league, but for the English Premier League anyway, have some sort of European play. Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Tottenham will be in the Champions League. The Europa League spot is five and six: Arsenal and Man United. And the Europa Conference League qualifying spot is position seven. That's West Ham United. I don't know if European play 
for like seventh place if that helps or hurts like um maybe if like smaller clubs got into it do they have the money to you know do they have the money to like fly their team to random places in europe to play soccer matches and come back especially when the conference league may not have the lucrative tv money that the premier probably the that that the Champions League has, Premier League has a lot of TV money too. We'll find out. I don't know if these Cristiano Ronaldo base cards do anything on the secondary market, but I'll set one of these aside for Man United. An all card ship, of course. And a live autograph, Mark Gouhe for Crystal Palace. Eddie with Crystal Palace. Yes, Matt, this, uh, I believe this came out uh, yesterday. Yeah, that, that's who uh, Matt was trying to trade for Crystal Palace to try to get that guy. Yeah, who do I pick at center back next to uh, Van Dyke? I would lean I would lean Matip, right? I think not having Thiago for for that match, Brian, I think is also going to be uh, is also going to be tough. There's Thomas Susek for West Ham. Jared with the uh, stained glass. He's been playing well, too, Simikas. It's Trent Alexander-Arnold. One of my favorite Liverpool players. Another Harvey Elliott. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but they got to figure out who they're going to try to re-sign in the summer window. Four, 73 out of 99. That's Max Ahrens, Narch. Unfortunately, relegated, along with Burnley and Watford. But Leeds made it. Would Le Leeds a last day safety play, or were they, was it the week before? I forget. I know Everton went clear, was assured safety two matches ago, the, second, the penultimate match. Yeah, it was a little weird to think that, I mean, even as a Liverpool supporter, you know, you want you want that you want Everton to be in the Premier League. That really makes the those those Merseyside derbies really exciting. It was kind of shocking to think that they could have been been relegated. They've been really solid, you know, definitely top half of the table year in year out. Ooh, I think a nice auto coming up. Right? Woo! 
Look at this. Thierry Henry. Wow. Obviously, it's Premier League edition, so it's for Arsenal. Brandon Hall with Thierry Henry, who does some studio work now, I think, for maybe Champions League games or something like that. But what a, I mean, if you're not familiar with this player and you enjoy soccer, you know, definitely look up some YouTube videos of that guy. What a uh, what a, what a, what a prolific goal scorer! Not a, not only just a great goal scorer, a scorer of great goals. Marcus Rashford. Yeah, there, there, I think there's gonna be a lot of changes at Man United. Hall of Fame video game player Thierry Henry. Does he play video games? There's David De Gea, blue, 32 out of 99. Gabriel Martinelli, one of the up-and-coming stars for, for Arsenal. That's for Brandon as well. Oh no! Yeah, in FIFA he's amazing. Yeah. Speaking of FIFA, isn't that isn't it weird how FIFA has? I don't know what they're doing, but but uh, they're being greedy, I guess. FIFA has cut ties with EA. They're not going to make FIFA. EA is not going to make FIFA games anymore. I think they're going to make a soccer game, but I think FIFA's trying to make a soccer game. I think they were saying that EA took too big of a cut of the money or something like that. So I think they're gonna try to do something themselves. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but which I thought was a crazy idea, but then again, it's FIFA. Yeah, so the EA release will be the same game but with just a new name. Yeah. They just don't have the FIFA licensing, but they have team licensing, I guess. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but Maybe they'll just be like, I don't know. They won't call it the FIFA World Cup or what if they even use that kind of branding. But anyway, yeah, the FIFA game will probably be terrible. Not a bad break, ladies and gentlemen. Some pretty nice stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, break soccer with us all summer long. We'll be talking about soccer. We're talking about the summer transfer window. We'll talk about the international friendlies all leading up to, and then there's a little last bit of qualifying, I think. And of course, join us later this year when there's going to be the World Cup. We'll be talking about that all fall, winter long. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next soccer break. Bye.